What you are watching me do is build a crane that I'm using to lift the cab off of the frame. And the reason you're watching it at 2000 times the original speed is because I managed to not record half of my day's work on the first day that I worked on this project. The original idea was to have this be a two part mini series in the restoration. The first part was going to be me designing on the fly and building the crane initially to lift the cab off of the frame. The important part of that video is the part that I don't have recorded, which is me doing the initial lift of the cab off of the frame using some straps that went underneath the cab and I had winches on all four corners that I slowly clicked up evenly. And when I got high enough, that allowed me to install two by sixes between the frame and the cab. And then I used the attachment points of the cab into the two by sixes to hold them. And then I ran two by fours that went from the front to the rear to hold the two by sixes up straight and kind of create a carrier for the cab. And I don't have any of that video, but I wanted to show you this part to kind of get context about what I've already done for the second part of the video, which we will jump into now. Welcome to part two of building the crane for lifting the truck cab off of the frame. I know in part one of building the crane, I just kind of shot through everything. I just set up the camera and just let it record and I designed as I was going because I really wasn't sure how it was going to turn out and I was piecing it together as I was going. But in episode two, which is this one, I'm going to slow everything down and we're going to go over everything in a little bit more detail about what I'm doing. And the first thing I need to do is figure out how to install these four casters on the crane poles which are right here so that I can move the cab and the truck bed around once I get them both on the crane. As you can see is that the 4x4 that I'm using is narrower than the flange for the caster but that isn't a problem. I plan on having 2x4s running about like so and that gives me a much larger platform to be able to bolt this to. So the first step is to build the front half of the frame and the back half of the frame separate with some um, temporary wood um, so that I can mount the wheel so that two of the fasteners are on one of the 2x4s, one of the fasteners is on the 4x4 and the other fastener is on the other 2x4. And all these will be screwed together and I might put metal strapping on them, I might not. Let's get the camera set up so you can see what I'm doing on the floor and I'll go through and we'll start putting together the attached to the front cross 2x4 and I have this as just a placeholder for the beam that runs from the front and back. I'll be removing this when I lift them upright, put them inside their hoops. So now I can hold the caster up to the bottom of the frame and get an idea of where I need to drill the holes. So I'm going to have this side flush with the outer 2x4, this side flush with the front 2x4, and I need to mark this location. With those marked, I'm going to pre-drill with a 3 16th inch drill bit. And then I'm going to use 5 16th lag screws to hold it in place.
about drilling the holes for the front to back 2x4 once I get those attached, but I have to repeat this for the other front corner, and once I do that, I'll be back to the next step where I'll be removing these hoops and then lifting it up and then reattaching the hoops. <laughs> and time to do the other side. So with the crane legs upright and the bottom cross member attached, the next step is to attach the top cross member, which is gonna be the same one that I had when it was stationary. Um, I've also double checked the measurement from the ground to the top plus an inch and a half for the top cross member to make sure that it would fit under the door as I open it and everything checks out fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and screw that cross member back on. finishes with the front so I'm gonna go ahead and just repeat this entire process on the back side and I will come back with you when I am done doing that as you can see behind me we have the rear post in I have the rear post installed on the other side as well so that means we can move on to the next part so now I need to attach the front lifts with the rear lifts and to do that i'm going to run a piece along the bottom and then i'm going to make sure everything is square and true and then i'm going to run a piece along the top and that's where it gets a little bit interesting because the cab sticks out past the post in the back so i'm going to have to extend the top two by four out about six inches and then run a piece of two by four across the top and then triangulate that in some manner um, so that it doesn't interfere with raising the cab all the way up because I need to raise the cab up past the top of the lift to be able to get the frame out and then I can lower it down so it's below the height of the lift and I can move it around and move it out of the garage. So I'm going to take a couple measurements of what I need this bottom rail to be um, off of this and then I'll attach that to the 4x4s and then screw in from the bottom to hold the lag screws in. <laughs>
It's been a minute since I checked in and I wanted to give you an update about what's going on and the progress I made, but before I do that, I want to show you my vlogging setup. You know that studio setup I made? I pulled it out of the tripod. And I'm holding it on the tripod stick. And it is flipping heavy. <laughs> All right, so the last thing I said I was gonna do is install these bad boys that run from the front to back. Those took a second. I also got the upper one installed. I added this just cross piece right here. Um, I have attached the cables to all the eyelet on the bottom, on the back. Um, I have added these angle supports. I also added this one. I don't have one on that side because I'm not sure this one is doing what I want it to. Um, so I'm not exactly 100% sure what I need to do to fix this problem. But I figured it's in a good enough position to give it a test. So I am going to set the camera back up on the tripod and I am going to see how high I can get it before something breaks. <laughs> Here is the back of the cab. Here's the bed. Here's the frame. Oh my God. And here is the wall. <laughs> so basically that means that I need to add some support. Now that it's away from the bed, it's much easier to do. I don't know. I haven't figured that out, but I'm gonna do that off camera. I think I'm done with this part of the project. Um, it is awesome to get this cab off of this frame. Um, whew. Yeah, so with that said, um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed part two of this. I hope this was a lot better than part one. Kind of gave you an idea of what the frame consists of and the challenges that I had to overcome to be able to get this to work. I am so happy that it is up in the air. Um, go ahead and subscribe if you wanna get video updates. If you really enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I hardly ever asked for this, but I think this one definitely deserves it because um, it is a huge milestone in this project. Hope you enjoyed the video. The next video, I'm not sure what we're gonna be doing, but until then, be safe, 
have fun with the hobby and I will see you in the next one. Bye.